It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the New England Patriots and the New York Jets, next on Madden Football. On a warm late summer afternoon, EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, every time there's something different to focus on, so I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me, you know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? Joey Sly, the kicker, stands ready, and we are underway from MetLife Stadium. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So here come the Jets to take over. Led at quarterback by a man back to full health in season number 20 now, and his second one in New York, and that's Aaron Rodgers. And <laughs> I can't help. But chuckle as we look at last year's stats for Aaron Rodgers. Zero for one, no touchdowns, no interceptions. I can't believe that we're looking at a stat line like that. But remember, he only played four plays. The Jets know that will not be a stat line for this year. And they can't wait to see the old numbers replace the ones you're seeing there. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big pickup of 38. I've heard of quick strike offenses, but this has taken that to the extreme. I mean, the very first snap of the ball game, normally you're thinking, let's get our quarterback comfortable and get him into the flow of the game, but not here. They come out attacking from the outset, and it pays off in a big way. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 down at the 31. On first and 10, it's Hall. Has some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. This completes to Corley. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. They'll give to Hall. And despite the fancy footwork we saw, they'll get to him just inside the 15. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly, and the play comes to you. And sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play, as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. They'll run with Hall. Yeah, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. I know any coach would take second and three all day. You think you're in pretty good shape. Instead, after two runs, though, they're at fourth and one. Didn't pick it up. Back-to-back one-yard gains. This defense, the challenge was accepted. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll go for it. It's Hall. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Brees Hall, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Jets' decision to go for it pays off with six points. So they only needed a couple of feet there on fourth down, but they got more than that and then some as he takes this into the end zone. And I love your description right there, right? Fourth and short, 
They got that. No problem. Let's go ahead and get the rest of it. Finish it off in the end zone. Touchdown. Everyone goes away happy on that one. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. A drive that time of six plays, and it was capped off by a Brees Hall touchdown run. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Patriots getting ready to take over on offense and leading him out in his second go-around as a Patriot, their ninth-year quarterback, Jacoby Brissett. And we're talking about one of the true professionals in every sense of the word in the quarterback position because... When he's on the field, he gives your team a chance to win. But coming up, he was behind Tom Brady in New England and learned how to be a pro from him, and now he's willing to pass those lessons on. Yes, he wants to be the starter, but he's more than able to help those behind him if they're willing to put the time in. First carry now for Ramondre Stevenson, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Stevenson gets it again on second down. A very tough run, but for a short gain out near the 32. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. They'll set up the screen for Gibson, and he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in the game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Up the middle, here's Stevenson, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Now a second and six. Here's Brissett. Got a man, it's Tyquan Thornton. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 yards for number 11. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Here's Brissett. And that's complete to K.J. Osborne. And he's got this down to the 35. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. we got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice, sustained series to begin the game that will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. And yeah, boy, now you see him, now you don't. Excellent move, nice run, winds up getting about six. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there. It keeps them advancing the ball. Second down and four. Four. 
Brissett now. Short pass caught by Henry. And Henry's going to pick up a Patriots first down as he'll take this down to the 22-yard line. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. The tight end Henry here in motion. Off the play fake. Here's Brissad. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Back to the ground with Gibson. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Throwing. Brissett. That's out to the flag for Gibson. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Antonio Gibson, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. It oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and we are tied at seven. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it concluded with the touchdown pass to Antonio Gibson. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. To throw, it's Rodgers. That one taken in by Corley. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Short completion, just four yards at its second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's Rodgers to throw. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. Good play there to pick up a first down for Conklin, and he's coming off the season where he topped the 600-yard mark for the first time in his career. He's become a reliable presence since arriving in New York. Now it's Rodgers. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing is Rodgers. And his throw is incomplete. 
They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Frees up your guys elsewhere. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Working from the gun, Rodgers. That is caught. They'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. On play action, it's Rodgers. A quick throw there is incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Ball on a give up the middle. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Here's Rodgers. Shifts by at the 15. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. And he's taken down at the seventh after a gain of seven. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Second down and three, ball on the seventh. Now Rodgers to the goal line, but it's incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Now Rodgers. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That is going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Mike Williams, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets have taken the lead. That's one of those long drives where not only do you score, but you really tire out the defense, too. That's a great point, because now they've been on the field for a long time. Them going to the bench, trying to make adjustments, trying to figure things out, but they'll do so fatigued. Zerline now for the PAT. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And in the end, it was Mike Williams who capped the drive with a touchdown reception. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. 
Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? They'll start on the ground with Gibson, and he'll get this to the 32. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. On second down, here's Gibson again. And he'll push forward for a couple to the 34. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. To throw is Brissett. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football. As they've got it with a third down and long coming up. Brissett sets to throw it. They'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. A third and long, you knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield in coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Behringer on to punt for the Patriots. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Jets will take over. Here's Mike Williams now as his guys head back out to go on offense. He's the star wide receiver, and he's doing his thing so far here into the second quarter. And how you get distinguished as a star is each and every week performing to a high level no matter what they throw at you because you're always wanting to take him out of the game if you're a defensive team. How do you press him, double him, triple him, all those things. But the best players show up each and every week, solid games and some spectacular ones. And he has showed up time and time again. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Rodgers now to throw. Throw right side, complete to Williams. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 10 yards is the pickup, good enough for a Jet first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing now is Rodgers. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. 
From the gun, it's Rodgers. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Well, partner, guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll set up the screen for Hall. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. And he missed it. It's no good, and this will remain a one-touchdown game. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it, and this one winds up no good. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense. Picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That good for 22 and a first down. Now that's a big time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 as they're down to the 29 yard line. He'll find Osborne here. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Brissett. Right side, Thornton with it. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. The end result, 21 yards. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not, and he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. Gibson diving for the end zone and he is in touchdown well Brandon he just followed his nose and his nose took him to the end zone but how about the big guys up front give him at least a stalemate in order to find that space yeah the O-line won the battle in the trenches there didn't they Now Joey Sly for the point after. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. Five plays there on that drive. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. 
Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. On first down, right back to Hall. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call, mark off the five, and keep it moving. Following the penalty, it's first and five, and you got to think offensively, all kinds of options. Hall again. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. 46 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. And it didn't take long for Hall to remind everyone just how special a player he is. He totaled nearly 1,600 yards from scrimmage a season ago. And he appears to be picking up right where he left off as he moves the chains for this offense. From midfield, here's Rodgers. He'll find Williams on the slant. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. Straight ahead is Hall. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to the huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Rodgers going to throw. This pass complete, he finds Jeremy Rucker. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and they'll be faced with a third and in inches. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. To throw is Rodgers. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Jets first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. They got a completion there, but that's clearly an example of one side happy, the other side not very happy. Defense, very, <laughs> hey, take one or two yards, we're good with that. Offense, you've got to expect to get more on the passing play. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And this is caught by Williams. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And that's a nice job of working his way open down in the red zone. Look that one in and then made a beeline for the pylon. He didn't quite get there and you want to give him a little extra for the effort. But instead he sets his guys up in excellent shape with a first and goal. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And he's in. Touchdown Jets. Tyler Conklin. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Jets are going to take the lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. And he finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. Yeah. 
It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that drive goes eight plays, and it ends with a Jet touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. New England's offense set to go. They'll look for a drive to tie this up down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. The drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Even from up here in the booth, the play-by-play -play guy could tell that there was some pretty good blocking on the right side of the line. Well, you have good eyes, and it's almost like a ballet when it's executed that well. Everyone in the right spot, everyone in sync, everyone hitting the perfect notes. A little more percussion and a lot more yeah. bass, I would think, than you get your normal ballet. But at the same time, that was well executed. Yeah, he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. The tackle by Quincy Williams. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down to throw Brissett. That's complete. Demario Douglas with it. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 31-yard line. A gain of 18 and a new set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Straight ahead, Gibson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. It's a pickup of three, and we have now arrived at the two-minute warning. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second down and seven. Here's Brissett. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one close quickly and helped force the incompletion. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Douglas, the man in motion. Throwing, Brissett. Throw fighting Thornton over the middle. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. From the right hash, it's a 38-yard attempt. Sly able to put this one through. And that'll bring them back within four. So they're content to take the three. Somewhat of a conservative call. They're opting not to go for it on fourth and inches. And that's from a team that you and I know is not usually playing it close to the vest. It's a little bit of a surprise that they opted for the three instead of going for it. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away.
And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Jets offense and Aaron Rodgers getting set for their next drive. And he's done everything you could have asked for coming in. He's spread it around. He hasn't taken many chances. And he's potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. They have played so strongly. You look at the scoreboard, you, you probably, with the way they played, you would think the margin would be a lot bigger, right? You would, and in your experience, how many times have we run into coaches where they've talked about, hey, we just want to put it in the hands of our defense and have them win the game? In this case, yeah, not the case. Not at all. You want to put it in the hands of your offense, but you always feel better about seeing defense because you think defense is a constant and offense kind of comes and goes. Today, <laughs> this game, no, they need their offense to stay on a really hot level. They've been hot so far. To throw, it's Rodgers toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct. Now I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now it's Rodgers. Open man here is Conklin. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and a couple. Throwing is Rodgers. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Now Rodgers. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he is going to have a Jets first down, and he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. That one taken in by Corley. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Now Rodgers. He finds Wilson. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here at half number one. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Throwing now is Rodgers. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Aaron Rodgers, three first-half touchdown passes. And the Jets will extend their lead here just before halftime. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half, and that'll give us momentum going into the second half, give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Yeah. 
Zerline connects on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told, and it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Taken at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Pats at the line ready to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. DJ Reed, who played in college at Kansas State, made the tackle. So we've hit halftime here at MetLife Stadium with the home team, the Jets, leading this one. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! In the first half, we saw some great play from Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers. He threw a first quarter touchdown pass, then two more in the second quarter, a three touchdown half. And he may just be getting started. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. And Charles, they trail here, though not really the fault of this offense. No, they certainly did their part in the first half. But when you're in a shootout like this, you definitely want your defense to play better, but you know that's out of your control. All you can do, keep putting points on the scoreboard and keep giving your defense opportunities to make stops. Douglas, the man in motion. And they'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a handoff up the middle. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. To throw is Brissett. Short pass caught by Henry. So the completion good for six yards. And now that sets up third and two. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. How about this? They'll try the option. Left side. And it'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. The Jets' offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now.
Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Rodgers now to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. Ball on the 39, here's the second and eight. They'll go again with Hall. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. The best defensive lineman, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Here's Rodgers to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 40. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Here's Rodgers. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that will bring up second down. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. Here's a second and three now from the 33. On play action, it's Rodgers. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hall. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. What a drive this has been. Just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Uh, give to Hall running right. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. They'll set up the screen for Hall, and he's going to come up well shy of the first here as the tackle's made right around the 12. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. And that means everyone on the offensive side of the ball, but someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you see a lot of guys sag and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And able to get this out to the 25. 
New England trying to get to place on offense. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. set now open man is Osborne he's got him and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 solid way to start the drive 13 yards picking up the first and this is what they're going to need more of it's the third quarter you're trailing you've got to come out with a renewed sense of purpose and that's a nice way to kick off the drive with good yardage and a first down now Brissett Got his man, it's Thornton. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. Well, there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected, but sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to, so sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. Second down at six now from the 42. Brissett. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. Here's Brissett. And that will be incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the Jets' offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. To throw is Rodgers. This complete to Corley. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. On play action, Rodgers. On oh, the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Had to do a double take on that one, Brandon, because so far in this game, we haven't seen many of his passes fall incomplete. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Rogers going to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. 
They fake the give. Now Rodgers. Wilson's got it complete. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A nice gain of 21 yards. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 down at the 33. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Throwing quickly to Wilson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. From the 24 now, here's second down and one. On play action, now Rodgers. This is caught. Touchdown, Jets. Four touchdown passes now for Aaron Rodgers. And the Jets take a three-touchdown lead. Brandon, is there any way you and I can join this quarterback in the zone he's in? He's absolutely feeling it. Touchdown after touchdown, throwing the ball. Zerline now for the PAT. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So this drive spans seven plays. And it ends with a jet touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and 10. Stevenson to begin the drive and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever second and ten I would think as a play call you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stopped that play maybe use that speed against him in the future Throwing, Brissett. Short pass caught by Henry. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it brings up third and five now. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw, Brissett. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. That one tipped and it's incomplete. But good hands there defensively. That's second down. 
But at this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Complete. It's Henry. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. This offense so far on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This is third and four. And in the air once more, it's Brissett. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Patriots first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five fifth catch of the game for him there yeah and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher it used to be occasional right safety valve throw one to him every so often but more, mainly they want him out there to block nowadays an integral part of the, the jets pressure too much as down he goes that time multiple defenders getting pressure and it's a loss of six. And that sack, Charles, just looked like a case where a speedy defensive end is a little bit quicker than the offensive tackle. Yeah, it makes it difficult for a tackle to determine what exactly to do. Do you do the kick slide and try and get back in the pocket and meet him there? Do you meet him on the line of scrimmage where they call a quick set? In any event, right now, he's having his troubles. Here's Brissett. He completes it to Henry. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid gain to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. Brissett. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That third down conversion, good for 23. Oh, that's a big let off there on third down because you've got to account for the running back coming out of the backfield. They didn't, and they got burned, not just for a first down, but for big yardage as well. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? On second down, here's Gibson again. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a 10-yard gain there to set them up first and goal. Uh, defensively, with this lead in the fourth quarter, I guess you can allow a run of that magnitude. You're right about that, but really the focus has got to be don't fall in love with the idea that you're getting big runs now. You're right. They're actually being allowed. They've got to think really hard about getting some chunk plays through the air, too. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Straight ahead at Stevenson. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. So stuff for no gain on second down brings up a pretty interesting third from this distance. I'm throwing the ball, and I'm not even thinking about play pass. I'm going to let them know right away I'm throwing it, but I'm probably giving my quarterback some room, sprint him out to one side or the other, and give him an opportunity. If it breaks down, he can take off and run for it. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Jacoby Brissett, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Pats have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. That's a tough one there defensively because look at the stops they got on first and second down, and it's first and second and goal. And then on third down, they cover the receivers 
but they leave an alley open for him to find, and he does. That is frustrating. You do almost everything right, and he still ends up in the end zone. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and the lead will be cut down to 14. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And the capper that put it in the end zone, a run of eight yards. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. This offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And you get a look at the numbers, and they don't even tell the whole story. This has been a tremendous performance to this point. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Good push from the offensive line, and they've done well so far to build this lead. Now they've got to get things to the finish line, and that's a solid pickup there to begin the drive. Second and six. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. So after the penalty, now they need just a yard on second down. Here's Hall again. And now the ball's out, fumbled near midfield, and it's picked up by the Patriots. And they get the football, they'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. And now, meanwhile, after the dust settles on the fumble, we've got an injured player here as well. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Throwing is Rodgers. Throw right side, complete to Williams. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now a second and two. On the handoff, a Banacanda. And he stopped immediately there. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. This defense, tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. And he is going to have a Jets first down, and he's going to have it by plenty, able to get eight yards there on third and two. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, 
you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. He had to fight that time, ran through one tackle, but ultimately he's only going to get back to the line of scrimmage. And Brandon, every running back wants to use their speed in order to get out in front of things. Sometimes you just have to be patient, let blocks develop. On that play, that didn't happen. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Williams. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 13-yard line. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack. But you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, I think... And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Aaron Rodgers on fire, his fifth touchdown pass of the ball game. And the Jets have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. So that drive there, CD, a good response, and that might be the one that gets him to the finish line, a comfortable lead. Yeah, and that's all about not letting the team back into a game because they just gave up a touchdown. It was back to a two-score game, and anything can happen in that situation. But instead, they came through with a really terrific drive right there that ended in six. So you like to slam the door on teams. In this case, they're trying to lock it as well. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up second down. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive. And he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Now second and three. Brissett sets to throw it. Right side, Thornton with it. And he's going to be touched down, but he's got the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On play action, Brissett. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45-yard line. And here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, OK, take your best shot. And that time, it's intercepted. And we've often seen teams go into the prevent early, way too early. And sometimes they get too soft in their coverages. But not in this case. They understood the situation and played it with the proper aggression. Now this offense and Garrett Wilson headed back out. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. On first and 10, it's Hall. And he's got some space here. And he's 
taken down inside the 30. 73 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I know we're in the era of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space, but there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle, and you know, late in this game, he wants the football in his hands. He's had a good day. Option play, here's Hall. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. They'll give to Hall. And he's going to get it inside the 10 to the 7-yard line. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Here's a give to Hall. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish.